Tom Joe Dixon, 27 years old, lecturer at the Australian Stock Exchange. The Australian Stock Exchange has got an investor education department which runs a lot of lectures both in capital cities and in regional areas. My job involves teaching people every day. I get out there and I inform the investing public about the Australian Stock Exchange. It also entails a lot of public speaking, so you need to be quite comfortable with standing in front of a large group of people and expressing yourself in a clear and succinct manner and trying to get people to understand what might be difficult or strange concepts at the start. One myth we do have to dispel is that we've got a trading floor with people shouting at prices. It's all screen based, ASX is really one big computer. Coming into ASX I had a background in teaching through my other job which is my other passion which is at a surf school. It didn't occur to me initially that I would be a lecturer here. It came about as a consequence of internal movements and I found that it was something that I had a natural passion for. I was working as a surf instructor full time after university where I studied economics. Spent the next three years managing the surf school. Following that, I took a graduate position at the Australian Stock Exchange. This was an entry level role and involved a lot of customer service. I was able to move quickly from there into our markets division, which was a business development role. From that point, I was then able to move into a position within the investor education area. What happened there was there was an opening came about and I was able to move into that having demonstrated a good base of knowledge in the markets and also some previous experience in teaching. So there wasn't a genuine direct path, there wasn't a particular career that uh, I had mapped out or a course that I did specifically that taught me about teaching. It was a culmination of skills that I'd learnt and being in the right place at the right time and getting involved which was probably a main thing, making sure you're noticed by people in your work environment and making sure that you keep your eyes open to opportunities that came along. Getting the job at the surf school was an interesting one. I'd just recently lost a job and was fishing around for another job with a friend of mine in the University Casual Employment Service. She pointed it out to me. I said, no, I don't want to be, I can't do that. It's not, it's not me. She knew I was a keen surfer. She said, you should go for it. So I did. It was just an emerging business at the time. The surf school industry was growing. So I was able to get in on the ground floor. It gave me a lot of opportunity to develop my skills and be part of an expanding industry. Uh, from that point, grew with the business. It was a lot of fun, it really was. And that's why I'm still there today, doing both jobs at the ASX and at the surf school on the weekends. Well, you could say I diversified my career portfolio. There's a lot of similarities in teaching surfing and about the share market. I usually just take the word surfing out of my talk and insert shares. Really what you're doing is you're introducing people to a new concept. You're trying to develop a skill set, improve their confidence and take them through in a safe and agreeable fashion. Outcomes for, for both styles of teaching are the same. You want people to have enjoyed themselves, to feel confident and to be able to go out there without too much danger. Uh, surfing, physical danger, finance, financial danger. So in that sense, you're really working in a similar sort of uh, skill set. Probably some of the best things about what I'm doing at the moment is the ASX regional program, which is going out to parts of Australia which are not close to capital cities and talk to small groups who are perhaps confused or know a little bit about the share market but want to learn a bit more. Now, I would be the first to admit that I still get nervous when I speak in front of a large group. But what happens is if you practice, if you do enjoy it inherently, then you can build on that skill and you can start to become proficient at what you do. If you want to be a surf coach, you don't need the economics degree, but if you'd like to be involved in the Australian Stock Exchange, all the finance related industries as a lecturer, an economics degree, business related degree, finance or accounting related degree are very useful. You've also got a lot of lawyers involved. Corporate law is a very interesting area too, which people can come involved in. I really do enjoy my job. I get a real kick out of teaching. I get a real kick out of uh, lecturing. It's almost like a performance. There's a bit of a buzz, you've got an audience. If you connect with the audience, you really do feel that you've achieved something and you've got some uh, power over them and you've got some uh, ability to influence their decisions and you feel as though you've done something worthwhile.